welcome back to love for food and travel as promised in my last videos today we will be covering the full kitchen tour of my new home also i would be showing you how i have organized my pantry unit and storeroom if you haven't watched our previous empty home tour and kitchen organization videos kindly check the links in the description below also if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates we had created a playlist specially for ikea kitchen organization modular kitchen and ikea restaurant let's start with the hob this is my four burner built in hob with 8 mm thick black tempered glass from kef It is an auto electric ignition gas stove with four full brass burners having flame failure device or FFD. Unlike the normal stove, these built-in hobs are easy to clean and maintain. Near to the hob, I have placed a dish drainer mat so that while cooking nothing spills and stains my white counter kitchen. On top of it, I placed a steel stand to keep any hot utensil directly from flame i have also kept a spoon rest which i bought from home center this is a very useful product as while cooking we tend to keep the spoon or ladle directly on the kitchen counter just above the hob we have a kitchen chimney again from kef It's a full black 3 speed gesture control with auto clean technology. Just below my kitchen hob is my cutlery tray. If you remember, we got this cutlery tray from IKEA which we had covered it in my previous video. Here I have kept all the big ladles together, small spoons and tablespoons. in separate compartments there is a separate section for keeping teaspoons and small kitchen accessories they can be adjusted as per our needs to accommodate different sizes overall i'm happy that all my cutleries could easily be accommodated in a compact and neat manner below this i have kept all my saucepans and milk boiling vessels which can be easily accessible especially in the busy mornings towards the right i have placed all my knives from ikea using a partition here in the final drawer i have kept all my stainless steel utensils and plastic bowls which i use on daily basis Towards the left is my thali tray where I have placed my stainless steel and melamine plates. I have also kept my katoris and lids here. Below this I have kept all my non-stick pans and kadais. Adjacent to this we have a pull-out spice rack where I have stored my whole spices and spice powders. which i need it handy for my day to day cooking these cute little spice jars are from ikea and spice powder containers are from the noob home i have been using these containers for more than a month now and i feel these are really good and airtight i have one more pull out pan rack for storing all my flat pans and tawas I usually keep my dosa and chapati tawa here. Towards the extreme left of my kitchen counter, I have my built-in OTG and oven from Kef. I have placed them side by side instead of one above the other as I felt this is more convenient and space saving. Just below the OTG, we have a small storage space. Where I have kept my baking tins and trays. I use this cake tins for baking cakes during Christmas 
and other special occasions. If you are not aware, we have one more channel called Mia Spice World where I upload baking and also yummy and easy peasy cooking videos. So please do subscribe to Mia Spice World too. Here below the microwave, I have a storage section where I keep all my baking accessories. Towards the extreme right side of the L corner, we have not used any magic corner trays as we felt that we will only lose out space. Therefore, we kept it as it is to place bigger items. Maybe in future, we will try to figure out and use it even more effectively. This is my sink area and here I have installed an 18 inch matte finish stainless steel sink from Hindwear. The tap is from Carousel and it's a pull out model and it is helpful in cleaning the sink all around easily. Next to this we have this leak RO tap from where we fill RO treated water. Here we have installed an under sink RO unit from Havels. Earlier we were using over the counter RO unit but we thought in this house we will go for this model for getting a neat and modular look. If you have experience of using under sink RO please do advise in the comments below. Next to this we have also installed inbuilt dishwasher from Bosch. This is a fully integrated model with 14 places and has a separate tray for keeping our cutleries. I am finding this dishwasher very helpful and it works perfectly for Indian kitchens too. If you want a detailed video on dishwasher, please do comment below. Near to the hob is a tray which I got from IKEA and I have kept all the oils which I use in my day to day cooking. These oil containers are from home center and they are very handy and of good quality. Here I have stored groundnut oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil and sesame oil. This bottle contains ghee which I made at home. I never buy ghee from outside. This cutlery stand from IKEA is not only useful but looks very elegant on my kitchen counter. Inside this, I have kept few wooden spoons and scissors. This is my two tire dish rack from home center. Here I have kept few plates and bowls for easy access. I have also placed some glasses, spoons and forks. Towards the other end, I have placed my grinding stones and mortar and pestle which I got from Chennai. The smaller one is made of soapstone and I use it for making masala chai. The bigger one is used for crushing masalas for my curries. The grinding stone which is called as amikal is made of granite. It is used for wet grinding and it is also considered auspicious to have one in every home. This under shelf basket is used to hang my kitchen roll and kitchen napkins. Here I have placed aluminium foil and clinch wraps. This does not require any drilling or nailing and can be easily mounted. Adjacent to this I have kept my new chopping board. I have also placed a liner mat from IKEA to prevent scratches from happening. There are 5 overhead cabinets, 2 in the left and 3 in the right. Coffee mugs and teacups are placed in one of the glass cabinets. I do have a separate crockery unit but all the day to day mugs are kept here only. In the next cabinet I have kept all my steel tumblers, filter coffee maker and stainless steel dabara set. In the other cabinets, I have kept my other essentials like salt, sugar, tea and oils. Opposite to the kitchen counter is my parallel kitchen come breakfast counter. 
Below this, I have few more drawers and cabinets. In this glass shelf, I have placed all my microwave safe glass bowls which can be easily accessed. To the right, we have a big wicker basket which is custom made. As this is a huge one, I have made partitions using this divider from the noob. This wicker basket can be removed and cleaned. I have placed a liner under the basket for easy cleaning. In the remaining drawers, I have placed my stainless steel and non-stick cookware. This is my tall pantry unit where I have kept all my groceries. For this, I have used the containers from Danu. If you are interested, please check out my previous video on kitchen counter organization. Actually, my tall unit is huge, so I can even have a divider and keep it as two steps. But for now, I am keeping it as it is. Maybe in future, when I need more space, I will work it out. We also have a storeroom attached to the kitchen. Initially, we thought of having an open pantry shelves, but I was adamant that I wanted to have it closed, as initially it would look neat and clean. But as time goes, things can get messy and cluttered, so we decided to have covered shutters with partitions inside. All my bronze, aluminium. and cast iron cookware can easily be accommodated here in this way my main kitchen will be neat and clutter free in this side instead of having a full length shelf i have a platform where i have kept all my electric appliances like grinder juicer and mixer below the platform i have my whole set of clay pots So friends this is my complete kitchen tour of my new house the planning and designing of this kitchen actually took 2 months as i was very particular since i spent good amount of time here i wanted everything to be perfect but at the same time practical too after seeing the end result i am very happy and satisfied very soon I will be uploading the complete home tour video with all the furnishing. Please continue to show your love and support us by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular notification. Until we meet again in another interesting video, be happy and keep smiling. Love you dears.